Hey there, hope you're doing awesome. Uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to um, import and work with a movie or video file or a QuickTime file so you can add uh, audio to it. So you can, you know, write music to it or you can do sound design or you can, you know, do a mix. So this is how you do it. Let's, let's say you've got a session set up. You're going to want to go to File, Movie, an open movie and you're gonna want to select your QuickTime, your movie whatever it is and you're gonna open it and you're gonna get this dialogue and it's gonna say open the movie which is what you want to do and you're gonna want to extract the audio track um, because it's good to have that as reference the sync reference and just having it in your session you can control the the level of it so let's hit OK and right now I'm on a MacBook Pro, so I don't have a separate screen for this. But uh, in my larger studio, I have, you know, three screens. So what I do is I have Logic on two screens, and then I've got a bigger screen that I put my video up on. So let's say that was above here. I would drag this up, and then I would right-click and hit Enter Full Screen. And that's going to fill up my extra screen so we can see the video. And so what you want to do is you want to control and click. And it'll bring up this dialog and you can hit exit full screen. Another thing you're going to want to do, because you imported the audio here with the movie, you're not going to want to hear the audio playback twice. So you're going to want to write, you're going to want to control click or right click on the movie and go to Movie Project Settings. And if this isn't checked already, you're going to want to mute the audio in the movie. Okay, That way, um, you can just use this track and you can mute it and solo it or raise the level of the overall volume. Now, if you're on a MacBook Pro like this, to save space, the best thing you can do is to click this little X and it'll give you a little movie dialogue over here, and you can watch the movie back um, in the smaller format. So you can, you know, continue to work. Hey, everyone! Um, and then, you know, when you move your session to a bigger studio or bigger screen, then you can just double click this and move this to your external screen. Cool? Um, and that is pretty much, I mean, that's the basics of it. There's so much more to it. I can make other videos to go into depth of how to, to use video offsets. And, you know, like when you're scoring a movie, you usually have different cues. And the cues start in different spots. So there's ways to set up the synchronization with the movie. So bar one starts at this point in the movie, if that makes sense. Um, that's a whole other tutorial session I'll have to take a look at later. But this is the basics. Hope that's helpful to you. And I have another tutorial where I showed you how to export your audio to this mix. But just to recap, you'd go File, Movie, and you'd export audio to, to the movie. But I recommend you watch that other tutorial. Hope that was helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And also feel free to like and subscribe if it was helpful to you. And as always, have an awesome one wherever you are. Okay, catch you on the next one.